there will be great rewards and the the characteristic of Jannah paradise will be that wherever a person will be in paradise, he will be satisfied. He will be satisfied. Even the person at the high level will be satisfied, the person at the low level will be satisfied because he will be wandering and seeing such great things that there will be nothing left to desire. And this is the story of paradise. When does it get attained? Just the eyes have to close amazed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then address the people of paradise. Say subhanallah, subhanallah. Allah will address the people of paradise and Allah's announcement will, will reverberate around paradise. And Allah will say, oh people of paradise, this is the meaning of the hadith. Allah will say, you've come to your destination, to your abode, you have arrived. You are sat in your different places, you're eating, drinking, mashallah. Do you have need for anything else? Subhanallah. Allah will ask the people of paradise, do you want anything else? They will say, Allah, you've given everything to us. What else is there left? Ah, but one thing that we, we don't even desire before we finish desiring, that thing comes to us. Everything's visible. There's nothing that we can think or see that we need that's left where we are we are surrounded by all the rewards we've attained. Yes, your wife, is she okay? Is your palace okay? Yeah, brilliant mansion that I'm living in. Food, drink, good? Yeah, very good. We have no need for anything else. Alhamdulillah, totally fine. First class, satisfied. We're all in our, in our mansions. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Oh my jannati, or oh, people of paradise, I'll give you that reward that I announced in the Qur'an. You don't even know what reward I've kept aside for you. Now I want to give you that reward. The people of Paras will say, huh? What, what kind of reward is this that Allah has kept aside? What is it that Allah Ta'ala wants to give to us? And we've read this in the Quran. Well, we know that it's in the Quran. Allah says, have you read in my Quran what I said to you? Waridwanum min Allahi akbar. That there will be many rewards. There will be vast rewards. Numerous rewards that you cannot imagine. But from all of these rewards, the greatest reward I want to give to you now, Allah Ta'ala was saying. Allah said it in the Quran, isn't it? That Allah has kept that reward to the end. Allah says the greatest reward, the biggest reward is what? Today I announce that your Rabb is pleased with you. Your Lord is pleased with you. And he is so pleased with you that after today he will never be displeased with you. What is that ibadah? What's that worship? That ibadah is my friends. That that person, that person in the world, that if he's happy with what Allah Ta'ala has given to him, then Allah will be happy with him in the hereafter. Subhanallah. What ajeeb ibadah. That human being, in this dunya, in this world, the actions and the circumstances that Allah Ta'ala has given, he's happy with that, then Allah will be happy with that person in the hereafter. Why am I not astaghfirullah? So Allah said, the greatest maqam in Jannah, the greatest reward of my pleasure will be given to that person who lived his life in the world, that whatever scenarios he faced in the world, the challenges, he was grateful and he was happy and content with what I gave to him. SubhanAllah. Allah says, when you get into a trap, a difficulty, a challenge, Allah says, you're getting a great reward. You've got illness, worries, your children are not obeying, difficulties of family, X, Y, Z. Allah's great favor upon you. All you have to do is just you have to change the direction of life a little bit. Change your direction. Rather being disobedient and complaining and crying, وَاسْتَعِينُ بِسَبْرِ salah. Immediately ask from Allah, we have by two things, by sabr and salah. Implement these two things, say, subhanallah, subhanallah. Namaz. In reality, what is salah? What is namaz? What is it? Allah Ta'ala says that ask, implement sabr and salah, that I will give you my happiness. Salah that we're praying is the condition, the genuine condition. Asal salah is what? So we pray physical salah. Physical prayer. And prayer is the physical form of 
the salat ala sunnah wa namaz that is doing dua to Allah, asking from Allah. And what we do is the physical form of asking from Allah. This is the reality of salat. What is the reality of salat? To ask from Allah. Say it loudly. To ask from Allah. To ask from Allah. So Allah Ta'ala has given us an action high level of to, to ask from Him. Allah said, I said, you can raise your hands and ask, you can enter prostration and ask, you can ask in this way, X, Y, Z. Thousands of ways to ask from Allah. Stand and ask, sit and ask. But Allah says, the greatest way to ask from me, the purest way that when a person asks from me, Allah says, I'll give to you straight away immediately, and that is salah, in the form of salah. In reality, what is salah? It is a dua, subhanallah. In reality, what is salah? It is a dua. It's a complete prayer. Complete supplication. وَاسْتَعِنُوا بِسَبْرِ وَالسَّلَاةِ Allah says, first situation is sabr. And you should exercise patience. And Allah says, the second action you should do, to show that you're happy with me and content, Allah says, I know you're a human being. You won't be happy forever with being poor. That if I'm poor, I stay poor. No, your heart will feel, I want to do this, have this. I know these things, Allah says. That whatever hal you're passing through, most definitely you'll be unhappy. So the other thing, the other action I'm giving to you, so the other action you need to do, Allah says, what's the other action? Is that you should be totally, consistently, and regularly doing dua to me, praying to me, say subhanallah. Why? Because in your dua, and your prayer to me, you'll develop an emotion that when you feel inside you, why is I've not got this? Why don't I get this and that? Allah says, then you won't complain to Allah when you do dua to Allah. Then you'll be satisfied and content as if you, you've attained what Allah Ta'ala has given to you. Subhanallah. 